Welcome back to Morning Break. Uh, we want to give you a live look from our WTOC Georgia Southern Statesboro Sky Cam. Beautiful day out there, but listen to this. Coming up, you can learn about ocean life and how scientists are studying it when the Georgia Southern Museum once again presents Shark Week activities and events. Coming up, it's July 9th through the 15th, and if you're not familiar with the days, that's Starting on Sunday, Dr. Brent Tharp is the director of the museum on Georgia Southern Statesboro campus here with a look at some of the educational programmings that will be available during the week, including a couple of uh, live communications with a research vessel operating off the coast of Iceland, which contrary to popular belief is not ice, but it might be cooler there than what we're experiencing Definitely. here uh, for sure. Um, exciting time back for, back to do this for a second year. And yeah. I guess what did you what you learn from last year that that, that folks can enjoy? Enjoy this year. Yeah, well, this is a great opportunity to use sharks, uh, which are just an important part of the collections paleontologically at the at the museum, uh, to uh, to grab the people's uh, people's attention and bring them in and focus just on this one really unique species that everybody kind of loves to loves to see and love to fear a little bit. Uh, and so this is an educational week to really talk about those. Uh, the sharks and, and their long evolution important story here in Georgia. Yeah, we were just talking about uh, adrenaline junkies and I said we should have thrown swimming with the sharks on there um, <laughs> with, with this in mind, but what is the fascination about sharks? Yeah, I, it, you know, sharks have been around for, uh, for tens, hundreds of millions of years. Uh, we like to tell visitors that uh, sharks evolved before there were trees on land. And so uh, this really iconic uh, uh, animal has, uh, has both struck fear, but also fascination with people for centuries. And that's what we like to talk a little bit about. So we, uh, Shark Week is all about understanding this uh, unique species both in paleontological terms, but also in our cultural history galleries and how people have interacted and, and understood sharks over the centuries. Well, let's talk about the, uh, the schedule because you've got a lot of different things going on. Uh, first, for people who, who came up there last year and took part in, in uh, different activities, you've got some new stuff. Available. That's right. Yeah, this week's all new. We've got uh, new, new facts in a scavenger hunt. We've got new people coming to present. The uh, Center for STEM Education is going to be talking about what is a shark? What's the biology of a shark? Why are they so different from other fishes? And uh, uh, we will also then have this live feed with the research ship. Uh, and one of our uh, professors, uh, Sarah Friedman, uh, is currently out in the North Atlantic right now, and they are understanding the history and geology of our oceans uh, that the sharks live in by, by taking uh, uh, core samples uh, all across the ocean. And so people can come in and take a tour of the ship live and, and talk with the scientists on, on Wednesday that week. So all new projects, including uh, wrapping up with uh, the movie Jaws at the end <laughs> of the week. It's funny, we were watching that over the weekend, and I said, it's just a summer classic. Uh, a shark at the beach, which, you know, is one of those fun things that you like, do I really want to go back in the water? It's great educational because it, it does teach people, like you mentioned, the valuable resource that sharks have been in and, and also how they have contributed to kind of where we live, what we're doing. And, you know, it, we don't even think about a lot of that stuff. Yeah, yeah. The movie Jaws is a, just a fun way to, to wrap up. It probably tells us more about us than it actually does right. about sharks, right? Uh, but the rest of the week, again, is all these kind of educational events to understand this apex predator that we've always been fascinated with. Who is this geared toward? Is it uh, for people, younger kids? Is it geared for uh, all we've, ages? We've got, we've got activities for all ages. Uh, for really young kids, on Friday, we've got just uh, storytelling with, our, with Gertie, a shark, uh, who's going to show up and, and read a story with them. So we've got activities for young kids, but also then these opportunities for older and adults and all the general public to come in and enjoy this. When you start planning all of this, in, in the activities, you have a group of people that are the kind of throwing out ideas and th seeing what will, what you think will work? Yeah, the great resource of being a university museum is that we have our own staff and our, 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 natural, our science educator who's working with us, but also all of the faculty across geology and biology and, and other areas. And so, in fact, uh, uh, we've got far, uh, sh uh, shark uh, facts related to our most changing, recent changing exhibits. It's on fashion and identity as well mm -hmm. in there. You got a lot of a uh, lot of stuff going on every day except for Monday. That's right. We're closed on Monday, but uh, uh, starting on Sunday and all the rest through the rest of the week, uh, we'll have those. And then we'll be open late on Saturday, uh, so from five to to ten, uh, the museum will be open. And then the movie on Sweetheart Circle, and we're going to have food trucks there so that people can get some refreshments and watch the movie out on Sweetheart Circle, which is just a great place. All right, and we will have uh, the schedule of events, and you can find that online at WTOC. 
dot com. Uh, Dr. Thar, thanks so much for being here today. Look yeah. forward to it. Should be fun and you know, fins up. Get ready. That's We're right. Ready for that. <laughs> all right, coming up, do you find yourself working all the time after the break? We're going to give you some expert tips that could help you avoid becoming a workaholic. That's up next.